Welcome to Fools. <laughs> Welcome to Fools Rush in STFC fan chat. Uh, we've had basically a week off, and who would have thought it? If ever there was a podcast, Swindon Town related, that was going to get the fans all angry and uh, and arguing amongst themselves, it was supposed to be us. But here we are, keeping quiet, and everything's been kicking off while we've been gone. Um, <laughs> but we're going to try and cheer everyone up. We're going to have a, a little bit of a discussion on what's gone on this past week or so. And then we're going to have a Friday night quiz, or Saturday stroke Sunday by the time you watch it. Uh, but let's start with the hellos. And uh, happy Jubilee weekend, starting with the returning Woody. How was your holiday, mate? Yeah, yeah. it was very good, thank you. And as always, you, I need another one. Um, but yes, it was very good. Good. Glad you had a great time. Uh, ben, how are you, pal? I'm very well, thank you for five feet. Yeah, good. all good and ready to go. Glad to hear it. Ned, you all right, pal? Yeah, all good. Thank you very much. Good. And uh, the fact that you're here meant we had to bring the quiz out. How are you, Joe? <laughs> yeah, I'm all good, thanks, mate. Only turn up for a quiz, don't you, mate? Yeah, love it, mate. Love it. <laughs> Glad to have you with us, as always. Um, as I alluded to in the, uh, in the intro there, it's been quite a week. Um, if it wasn't for the fact that I went and watched Maverick the other day, Swindon Town Twitter was probably the most entertaining thing I've watched all week. Um, we joked in our last record, um, obviously, we were doing the retained list. And halfway through the episode, the, the rumour and speculation, and we have to stress at this time, that's all it still is, of uh, Garner's departure um, was breaking. And, and we laughed and joked that the fans were going to lose their heads. And my God, what a week it's been. Um, <laughs> it's been very, very entertaining to watch. It's um, unlike the Swindon fans to lose their heads. <laughs> Well, quite. And uh, it's not like you didn't drop uh, the odd comedy just to keep things ticking over, eh, Ben? <laughs> you know, the old grenade thrown in there. Uh, let's see what happens. Um, but in in all seriousness, um, there's been about 750 names thrown into the mix. We've had about 500 of them top of the betting odds at one time or another. Um, I got so confused one day at work, I went into the office thinking Charlie Austin was going to be player manager. At lunch, <laughs> Richie Wellens was definitely coming back. And then all of a sudden, Alan Pardew was leaving Russia to come and join us because of racism. I didn't know what was going on. Breaking news, um, confirming Richie Wellens, by the way, Irene has been on the Swindon socials to deny any, um, any move for Richie Wellens. She has squashed the rumour and says oh, it's not okay. happening. So, so from, that just leaves... from Richie Wellens' mum... It's not happening. <laughs> okay. Mum says she, it's not coming. Quite, I've got it not on good squash. authority. I've <laughs> got it on good authority from Paolo De Canio's vet that uh, his dog will not be taking over either. Right. Sound first two names out. <laughs> Indeed. Um, let's talk about some of the let's talk about some of the other names and and see who has or hasn't excited you all. Um, the the main one that seemed to disgruntle everybody was Sol Campbell. Um, it seemed to get the like the biggest negative reaction. It's the only thing everyone agreed on, really, was that they didn't want Sol Campbell. Are you all in that boat? Is it fair to say? I, I mean, I, I agree. I don't want him, but I feel a bit sorry for Sol because he's kind of a manager who's been brought in in terms of a crisis, and now he's been labelled with it because he was in charge of Macclesfield, he was in charge of Southend, and he's not had a chance at a proper club. And um, he, he really is keen, and he's been linked with a, a couple of top, uh, higher league le- uh, jobs. But um, yeah, he hasn't no, he done anything to it. earn that bigger club. No, he's not. But he's, he did all right at Macclesfield, but the club died, and Southend were a basket case club as well. So he does deserve a chance, just not with Swindon. Okay, fair <laughs> enough. Um, ev- the other three of you, it looked like you were in agreement. You just didn't really want Sol in charge. Um, I, fair. I, I, I don't strictly have any strong feelings against, I would say. It's just, you know, as, as Ben Riley said, he hasn't had a chance yet, has he? Um, he's only been playing at shithouse clubs. Well, not playing, managing. Um, so it's pretty harsh to judge him on, you know, his record so far, isn't it, really? But I don't know. I mean... We'll see. We're, 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 we're pretty confident that's another name not coming from mm. from all the, you know, the accusation and speculation over the course of the week. The one thing that seems to happen was it's not him. Um, a number of um, former players um, have been linked with either their first managerial role or, or player 
player manager roles. You know, I, I mentioned Austin, um, Carrick's name's been touted about. Um, who else have we seen? Ryan Mason's name's been touted. Um, James Milner, bizarrely, has, has been mentioned a few times. Uh, are we a fan of a, a player manager coming in, maybe? Not so obviously in the case of, of <laughs> Carrick or Mason, but... Um, I think, I know we, we joked about Charlie Austin and all of that, but I think, if I'm honest, the time of the player manager is kind of gone now. Mm. Um, I don't think a player manager is the right way to do things. The way football is now, where you're coaching so many different aspects of the game, you're analysing, you know, every second of the game. A, a, a manager can't do that whilst they're on the pitch. Um, and, you know, obviously we've got all of this discussion about you know, what model we want, whether we want a DOF or whatever. Um, if we have a DOF, we won't, we can't have a player manager. So it's, it's. I just, yeah, I think if I'm brutally honest, and I know we, we seem to have about 150 leaks, um, seem to be everybody seems to know somebody in the club. But it's, I think, um, you know, I think sometimes people do plant things just to wind people up a little bit. Oh, of course they um, uh, But yeah, I think... I, I I think, yeah, I don't think a player manager wouldn't be the answer. I don't think personally. Um, we can discuss further on other on other sides of it, but player manager for me, no, it's not. It's not. Well, fortunately, we're just not in that generation of football anymore. Carrick or Mason then, because they they obviously wouldn't be player managers. I would love Michael Carrick personally, mm. um, just because I heard hear glowing things about him as a coach. Anyway, <clears throat> would he? But then again, he's um, a little bit crust at Man United, isn't he? So. Yeah, so I think would he drop down to League Two for first managerial job? I don't know, but um, I think we just need this clarity on what's going to what our structure is going to be, whether we're going to have a head coach or a manager. Um, you know, Clem's kind of interview is a little bit mysterious. He seems to be quite happy to pull away from the DOF model, um, which you know I don't know. I actually quite like the DOF model myself, but um, you know, there's all sorts coming out now that whether you know, Chorley was actually a DOF. I do wonder if that's just coming out because he's resigned and people are feeling a bit better. Um, well, but yeah. That, like, sorry, sorry, would you carry on? No, I was just, I was pretty much just, just going to say that was, yeah, on on, on that point that um, if, I think, if we do go the DOF model, we probably will end up with a with a, sh a small coach, but uh, not small coach, sorry, a, a new coach. Small coach, just a little Jan Frank. No, a tiny Franken, little man. Probably <laughs> Corbett. Go on, lads. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> on, the, um, on the subject then, Ned, let me bring you in. On the subject of Chorley, what was your reaction? You know, there was all this talk about Ghana, and then all of a sudden the statement came out that, that Chorley was the one that's actually gone. Well, my, my initial reaction was, oh, my God. Because, mm -hmm. you know, we... You know he's been the 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 you know for, uh, one of the better phrase golden goose hasn't he? For, uh, he's been the uh, uh, as um, Chewy said um, he he you know he keeps bringing all these wonderful deals in, but you hear all these snippets of information here and there, and you think well, actually is he the guy who's bringing all these players in or not? It's just I don't know what to believe anymore. <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> So I much think, information has come out from all these inside sources. You're thinking, oh my God, what is real? What isn't? What part did he play? Or was he just the face of, you know, a couple of other people? Or, you know, it's, I don't know what to believe anymore. Are we in the this Matrix? Is, this is <laughs> where know. that... I, Am this, I in the Truman Show? This I, is I don't where know. That, um, that, that, that use of the phrase open and honest was always going to come back. And... I, d I don't want to dwell on these things too much because, you know, the world and his dogs had his say this week and we want to keep it light. But that, that's possibly the only point I can agree with when there is all this sort of discontent around just something to at least briefly clarify the situation, I think. I think, I think the problem is that five feet. And I, I have to admit, I'm actually of the opposite opinion to what a lot of people are saying. They can't, they, they physically can't say too much because if you look at the Chorley situation, He's not, he's not a playing member of staff. He's not a coaching member of staff. He's just on a regular employment contract. So he probably can't, he doesn't have to reveal why he's resigned. And we don't have to tell, and, and arguably, if it's something quite sensitive, the club, they can't tell us any, they can't tell us anyway, because it's just regular employment rights. Mm. And I think if, if, and 
you know, we're here, like, like we say, Ghana's on holiday with the whole Ghana situation. The, the legalities behind poaching managers or, you know, approaching managers, it's bad enough at the lower levels. You know, even, at, you know, we're, I wasn't even allowed to tell you to tell people that I was the under-16s manager. You know, it's, it's, it, is, it is ridiculous in some cases because there's just so many checks, so many things that go behind the scenes. Um, so I'm, I'm, I'm actually for one. I, I get we're being impatient and we're all worried because of obviously what we've been through as Swindon fans. But on the same end of that, I'm thinking, come on, we've been through this before as Swindon fans. We know we all deep down know it's not going to be as bad as, as, as it has been before. We're it's still just in a, a better position than last summer. Exactly, mm. and it's and it's just and if if it got to the stage where players started walking, handed in transfer requests, things like that, that's when you start to worry that there's something going on behind the scenes. But then, surely, if like I say, he's a regular employee, so if he's got a better offer somewhere else, it's no different than me leaving my job to go somewhere. You know, I, I, if he, if he gets a higher appointment, I take my hat off to him. To be fair, I don't care whether it's he's resigned because of personal issues. If he's resigned, if you get bored in your job or you don't have the you know, enthusiasm for your job anymore, you move on, don't you? And it's um so yeah, I'm 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 actually quite for the club in in not being too open and honest at the moment because they could land themselves in the ship by doing so. Um Joe, just briefly then, um if we look take Bradford as an example, um they've signed about four hundred players in this last couple of weeks. Um, <laughs> sorry Ned. Stevenage as well. They, yeah. They've done all their business early, haven't they? How long realistically, and it's worth putting in perspective again, we know the situation we were in last year and the squad we were able to put together in about two hours, but how long can we let this situation drag out before it becomes a problem for putting together a squad for next year? <clears throat> well, to be honest, the players Bradford have signed are not too upset that we've missed that one. So, um, yeah, I mean, obviously... You need to get it sorted as quickly as possible, but you need to get it right at the same as well. So, yeah, yeah. you know, if nothing's happened in ten days, two weeks' time, I would be a little bit disappointed. Um, I'd like to think after this weekend's out of the way, people uh, people are probably back from holidays and things. I think things will move pretty quickly next week. Um, and I, I actually think possibly by the end of next week, we we probably have somebody, whether it's director of football and head coach or just a manager. I think somebody will probably be. In if it's not announced, then we're going to sort of know who it's going to be. Okay. Because um, obviously, you know, the, the club will have, still have targets, players, uh, you know, that we want to bring in. But obviously, the new manager will will want to have his say as well. So, yeah, you want to get it done sooner than later, but get it, you know, take your time and get it right at the same time. So yeah, it's a tricky definitely. one. Definitely. And uh, and Ben, look, back to the original topic in hand. Is there any? Other names you've seen touted about that have, have either piqued your interest or you thought, really, come on, no. Do you know what? It's it's been it's so open we can't really put a finger on. At the moment, the book is 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 Matt Taylor, and it's not going to be him. Either one, whether it's been the former player or the exit of one. Um, so the bookies don't have a clue. No one really knows. I'm with Woody with I'd love to see Ryan Mason or Michael Carrick at the club or that sort of figure. I don't know if that's it. No one knows what sort of person we're going to get the club done really well of keeping it under that because personally I think Clem knows who he wants now um he's he's going to be back off again by the end of next week so I think by then everything's all going to be tied up and dusted um so uh that person may even be talking to players may even be talking to possible future signings I think they've already started the ball running there they're just waiting for the Charlton to do their bit before we can um, so I don't have a clue who we're going to sign. Um, I'll throw the same know. question over to, to Joe and Ned. Have you seen any any names touted around that you either excite you or really like? Please God, no. <laughs> there's plenty that there's plenty on when you look through a list of lead two manager uh, options. There's plenty there that you don't want. <laughs> mm-hmm. um, but I'll go back to the one I always say that you know probably know what I'm going to say now, but the one that I've said, the last two managers probably that we've announced and Luke Garrard, I think he, I think he, he, although he hasn't got born would promote it. He's always, they've always been up there, thereabouts. They're on a small budget in that league, you know, and I, I think he, especially with a director of football, if, if that's the way we're going to go, I think he'd be, you know, a, a really good appointment, but yeah, I think the, the, the club have, been, have done very well to keep it under wraps. There's no, there's sort of no real rumors at all. There's only stuff that people, 
I know this and I know yeah, that. Yeah, I, I was in Burger King and yeah, I saw yeah, such yeah. and such. <laughs> but there's, there's nothing in any, any of the sort of journalists that you sort of people can trust and yeah. generally get things relatively right. There's, mm-hmm. nothing, there's been nothing coming out about Swindon at all. So I think they've... I'm hoping that means that it's a good appointment that, pe- that other people want and we're trying to keep it under wraps. Um, yeah. But yeah, I'm I'm excited. I'm excited. You know, I, I, I believe that we, we, as a club now, we, we'll get it right, hopefully. And uh, mm. good. Forward. I like I like to hear the excitement in your voice. It's, it's, uh, <laughs> it's very nice to hear. Ned, any, anyone you want to add to the debate? Oh, Graham Ricks. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I heard he's got a few nurses. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ! Um, <laughs> uh, I, I, Allegedly, as, said, uh, as any as, jokes, jokes, but, jokes, jokes, absolutely you know, not true. Um, jokes. <laughs> um, there's there's a million and one people that you don't want, but you know, uh, there's someone with the sameish kind of style would you know anyone in that bracket will be fine for me, please. Um, but yeah, there's loads of decent young coaches around so let's hope let's hope the one that we choose is well, speaking player. of decent young coaches just to finish this conversation with you um i'm certainly not someone who claims to be in the know at all um i have no contacts um i never profess to know anything um but i did hear from sources from turkey were suggesting that there was movements on a potential manager can you confirm or deny um, but your name got mentioned. Yeah, well, Mehmet from Jumping Jacks has obviously put a thousand pounds on me being the next Cinder manager um, <laughs> after my, um, I guess, father-in-law in some ways, um, you know, advertised to the whole bar that I was I was a Swindon Town manager. To which <laughs> one, I was surprised that they knew who Swindon Town were. Um, Two, to which the next pub I went in there was actually a Swindon Town shirt. Um, and, there, uh, and then, obviously, from that, they all wanted, everybody wanted selfies. Well, two people wanted selfies. <laughs> um, <laughs> but we'll keep getting used everywhere. to that now, though. <laughs> yeah, but it was, um, yeah, it was, it was quite funny. Um, and I, I said, well, both the current and potential manager are both on their holidays at the moment. Um, so I can neither confirm nor deny that rumour. <laughs> well, believe me, the, the selfie counts will be going up in a couple of weeks when I come down for the pod night out because everyone in the team will be having selfies with me. That's for sure. Um, let's get on to the... Who said I forgot about that? I, I, I generally forgot that we was going out. <laughs> was I, it July the 1st? I got a message in like every other day saying, is everyone still coming? Everyone's still coming? July 1st. Uh, <laughs> July 1st. Boom. Boom. Let's get to the matter in hand, and it's the return of the quiz cards. Uh, summer content is available, and uh, Joe is here to defend his crown as the uh, oh. Fools Rush In jug, quiz jug, jug, champion. Jug, 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 jug. No pressure. No pressure. No pressure at all. Um, I think we just do it the same way we did last time. First one to basically shout out the answer gets the point as long as they get it right. Uh, seems fair. We've got, I don't know, this amount of questions to get through. Um, <laughs> since we last did it. Uh, it's not as many. It's not as many as last time. I know that much because it's not been as long a period of time in between quizzes. But are we all excited? A bit, a bit of yes. light entertainment on a Friday we, we, night. We love a bit of quiz. Okay, excellent. Uh, I'll tell you quick... at the end. Sorry? I'll tell you at the end. Depends how many Scottish football <laughs> yeah. questions there are. Um. And again, if you're watching or listening to this, uh, play along and let us know if you score more than these guys do uh, by the end of it. Plenty of points. Probably will. Who will? I said you probably will. That's you to everyone listening. (laughs) Everyone will score more than you guys. Um, Question number one then. Uh, Liverpool's 68-game unbeaten home run in the Premier League came to an end in January last year when Ashley Barnes fired in a late winner for the penalty spot to secure a famous victory for which side? Burnley. Leicester. Oh, Burnley. Oh, no, I said Leicester. Uh, Burnley is correct, and Joe came through first on that one, so that's a point for Joe. (laughs) Straight off. Unbelievable. Even you know, Joe, that that, I was first to that one. (laughs) Joe won. 
I didn't hear you say burn until I said Lee. So one time, I went, <laughs> Burnley. The one time I want fucking Wi-Fi issues. <laughs> <laughs> Which player has scored the most amount of Premier League own goals? Jamie Carragher. No. Oh, what's his name? Dunn. They Correct. Are. Richard Dunn. Richard Dunn, yeah. Well, well done. done. Remember, he scored a huge match. Carragher yeah, scored like three in one game. Um, definitely Carragher two. got a hat-trick of own goals. I think it was definitely two, anyway. Very impressive <laughs> if he did. Um... Which three German clubs have won the European Cup stroke Champions League? Three German clubs. Three German clubs. Well, Bayern Munich. Yeah. Borussia Dortmund, Stuttgart. You've got two so far. Well, Munch and Gladbach. Nope. Who gets the third one and gets the point? Bayern Munich, Borussia Dortmund. Hamburg. Hamburg. Well done, Woody. Well done. Do I get a point? Yeah, do we all get a point? Because we all got one. We all set a team. <laughs> All four of us. Woody gets a point for <laughs> guessing a German team. <laughs> yeah, I'll get a point because I wasn't going to say Bayern and Dortmund. I thought it was too obvious. <laughs> <laughs> Which Northern Ireland international has played for two Italian clubs, having begun his career at Burnley in 2005 and is his country's second highest scorer of all time? Oh, Northern Ireland. <laughs> Fucking 2005. Uh, started his career, where did you say? Burnley in 2005. Burnley. Ashley Barnes. Burnley. <laughs> no, it's not Ashley. Ashley Barnes, I don't believe he has played for Northern Ireland or played in Italy. Or what, started his career at about Burnley. about Martin Patterson? No. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> we, I can't... Got... What's his name? It's Muck something, isn't it? Is his name Muck something? No. No. no, it's not Muck something. I don't know. Will initials help? Yes. KL. Kyle Lafferty. Well done, Joe. What's his name? Kyle Kyle Lafferty. 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 Uh, I'd like to remind everybody this is quarter one. I know Kyle Lafferty. This is going to be a long hour. Would he still on turkey time to go with his turkey teeth? (laughs) I've only slept a little bit since I left. Turkey. Look, off, you're only putting in the chat how many naps you've had today. I had an hour. Oh, no, that was me. Mm, <laughs> that was <yeah>. <laughs> uh, Fernando Lorente top scored for Swansea City with 15 goals in 2016 17. But which Premier League club did he join for 12 million that summer? What's the question again? Sorry, I was. Tottenham. But Newcastle. Well done, Joe. Tottenham it is. <laughs> Oh, man. Yeah, I'm just too slow. I wasn't listening. <laughs> I need the answer to that as well. It's too slow. <laughs> it's, that, it's that dodgy Wi Fi again, isn't it, Woody? No. Just too Prior slow. to last summer's delayed Euros, which two players were tied as top scorers in the tournament's history with nine goals apiece? Last Euros. Prior oh. to the last Euros. Prior to the last Euros. One of them's German, isn't it? No. No. Well, there goes my only guess. Let's go with Lukaku and Lewandowski. You got naught out of two, Woody. Well, that was good then. (laughs) Fieri? Nope. We're we're talking about, like, in history, yeah? Yeah. All the time. Yeah. One of them's easy. One of them's obvious. Uh, to both, if you know it, both of them are obvious. Probably Ronaldo, sure. Ronaldo, yeah. Ronaldo's one, yeah. Yeah. But who's the Griezmann? second who was joined with him? Griezmann? Nope. Closer? Nope. Mbappe. Oh, Torres. He's, he's Torres. World Cup, any closer, I think. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Fernando Torres? No. Nope. David Villa? No. Nope. Is he Croatian? Private. No. Nope. No. Nope. Shearer? No. Nope. Go back further. Go back Henry further. Lamb. Further. Wayne Rooney. You say Bam- 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 Yeah. <laughs> No. Van Basten. Oh, uh, who's that Spanish striker in the 90s? Was Orientes. Raul. Latini. Raul. Latini. Well done, Woody. Latini. Oh. Latini. Oh. 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 Back there, the 70s. What a great shout. Oh, Latini. For those playing along at home, the score's currently... 
just random <laughs> mention of the CD. For those playing along at home, the scores are currently Ned is still um, without a point, but he's enjoying his evening nonetheless. Ben is on one, yeah. Woody's on two, and Joe is in the lead on three. Awesome. Which Premier League winning manager had a brief and unsuccessful Ferguson. spell? <laughs> Sorry. Sorry? Ferguson. No. With uh, Fulham out. in 2018-19. Ranieri. Correct. Oh. <laughs> I thought you, you I thought once you guessed you're out. Oh, he guessed before he asked the question. <laughs> My Ferguson guess was a joke, to be fair, just because I just, just said... <laughs> should, should we make the rules? Up? If you jump in and guess, and it's wrong. All right, from oh, now yeah, on, no yeah, jumping yeah. in. All right, no just jumping in. Even, a if, chance. even if you're joking. Yeah, no, no joke. This is a serious <laughs> podcast. There's serious. no joking allowed. There's no joking on this podcast. <laughs> we don't want to offend people, and we don't want to have fun. <laughs> lawsuit earlier with my Graham Ricks joke that was a joke and he's been totally yeah stop talking about Graham <laughs> Ricks <Ben. laughs> that was a joke and didn't happen <laughs> which goalkeeper has recorded the most clean sheets in Premier League history David James no De Gea Schmeichel no, Schmeichel. no, no. I, I saw this the other day who was it Petr Cech is the answer yeah. oh Petr Cech <sighs> yeah, you would, they wouldn't to be fair I thought it was Van der Sar but there you go I don't know if didn't concede many goals. You get like 13 a season. <laughs> and it's high. Bayern Munich have won the record number of Bundesliga titles, but which two clubs follow with five titles apiece? Dortmund. Dortmund and Stuttgart. Uh, no, you got one right, Ben. Who's the other Bremen. Bremen. Nope, I'm afraid that's wrong as well, Ned. Brush your much and glad bank. You're out, Ben, so that don't count. Oh. <laughs> You've literally just yourself made the rule. <laughs> I think... Am I out? I'm out, aren't I? No, you're yeah. not out because you've only guessed one so far. And then Dortmund uh, and Hamburg. I've got two. I've got no, two. that's wrong, Joe. You didn't really do... think about it there. Go on, Woody. What was the question again? <laughs> it's with everything you just said, Ben. <laughs> Uh, the Have question was, <laughs> well, you've already said Dortmund, which is one. So you mm. just need All to right. get the second one. Yeah. And the clue, is, the clue is, the clue is Sarah's I'm right. Ben's already two. said it. Yeah. I'm tied between two. I'm going to go. But ben Frank. said Can it. Can I get already. it right? Really, listen, <laughs> Ben has said it. I wasn't listening to Ben. I never listened oh, to Ben. Oh, I've said it. Can I to get the point anyway if no one else gets it? <laughs> no, because you fucking jumped in, Ben. Right. Oh. I, have, I had two left. Right. I've said Frankfurt. I'm guessing it's wrong. Right, here's a clue. Here's a clue. Frankfurt. Egbo used to no, play. No, not Frank. It's... Fucking hell, no. It's not Frankfurt. Egbo used to play for him. It's Munch and Gladbach. It's, it was Munch and Gladbach. I used to have a wallet with Munch and Gladbach on it. Egbo used to play for Munch and Gladbach? Yeah, Egbo used to play for Bush and Munch and Gladbach. The reserves, yeah. And New York Rebels. He's got a great CV. Okay. He played like three games for Munch and Gladbach reserves. Oh, he played for the B team. He didn't play for the first team. <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> Everyone, eyes on Joe for this one then. Ready? Oh, Scottish football, here we come. Yeah, hey, Joe. Eric, of Joe. the 94-95 season, the Scottish Football League was restructured into four tiers. But which two clubs from the Highlands joined the new 10-club Division 3? From the Highlands? Yes, that, that's that's like up there. Right, top, <laughs> isn't it? It's up the top, yeah. Ooh, I'll give you clue, it's not Aberdeen because they were already in it. Queen what, of in the South Airdrie. Right, well, in, no. Queen of the South is in the Highlands. Really? <laughs> <laughs> Inverness? Well, it might have been like... Uh, Inverness and... Caledonian Thistle. Someone else near That's the same it. club, Ben. I know. Dumbarton. No. Ooh, Ross yes, County. Not... Ross County, well done, Woody. You oh. get the point there. Was that right? <laughs> well done, Woody. Woody has taken the lead. <laughs> How have I fucking done that? It's just stolen that points left, right, and centre. Beating Joe to a Scottish question. <laughs> it was a complete guess. Uh, there is going to be absolute <laughs> limbs when Scottish Ned gets a Ross. point. Yeah. Absolute limbs when Ned gets a point. That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> mm. <laughs> Which Russian footballer, nicknamed the Black Panther, is widely regarded as the greatest goalkeeper in the history of Le the sport. Um, Yashin. Oh, 
<laughs> well done. Well played. We've got a Titanic tussle at the top of the leaderboard with Joe and Woody both on four points apiece. And a good fight for the wooden spoon. Ben's got his solitary point. (laughs) (laughs) Ned, you still enjoying your evening, yeah? No. No. Not even enjoying yourself anymore. No. No. Can we go back to talking about elite footballers now? (laughs) (laughs) Do you have a Jerome Sinclair question? (laughs) Well, you never know. This could be a Jerome Sinclair question. Uh, Judging by the start of it, at least. Which prolific Premier League era striker <laughs> scored 14 FA Cup goals whilst playing for five different teams? Jermaine Defoe. Teddy Sheringham. Both incorrect, I'm afraid. Nicholas Anelka. Still incorrect, I'm afraid. This is on you, Ben. No, that's me, Alan. Right. He's played for lots of clubs. No, it wasn't right. It definitely wasn't Ian right. <laughs> <laughs> no, I am going to go for how many clubs did you say? Five. Five. Right. Okay. Just remember, there are people watching and listening to this, Ben. So don't take forever. <laughs> I do not have a Scooby Doo, so I am going to go for. I don't know. I don't know. Excellent. Uh, it was worth the wait then. Andrew <laughs> Cole is the answer. Andy- Andrew Cole, good answer oh. that, yeah. That's the right answer, so it's a good answer. <laughs> Which Italian manager led West Brom to promotion to the Premier League in 2010? Oh, oh, <laughs> <laughs> Correct, Joe? Yeah, Joe Prince. Didn't even let me finish the question. That's when jumping in works. I could see Woody was ready. <laughs> Which player has been substituted off more than any other player in Premier League history? Wow. Substituted off is the critical bit in that question. Johnny Williams. No. <laughs> I'll take that hit and I'll sit down. <laughs> you already sat are down. We, I know. Are we going to... about the question? Oh, are we talking early Premier League? We're talking entire Premier League. Well, yeah, but I'm asking for a hint for the answer. You want a hint? Yeah, FYI, Limp. He got substituted a lot, wouldn't it? Yeah, <laughs> he got subbed a lot. lot. <laughs> subbed a lot. Hmm. Does that include going on the pitch, or is that just off? But again, I, I emphasise in the question. It said substituted <laughs> off. Off, right? Okay. As in yeah. removed from the field of play. <laughs> More often than anybody else. Um, allegedly, and it's purely allegedly, because I wouldn't like to comment on people's personal lives, um, he was getting up to unsolicited oh, yeah. activity. Well done, Joe! <laughs> 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 While being substituted off. <laughs> and that puts Joe into a two-point lead over Woody with his answer of Ryan Giggs. <laughs> Ryan Giggs. Ooh, Ryan Giggs. He's been around since day one, hasn't he, really, Ryan Giggs? 134 he times. He played for 32 most. seasons. <laughs> I, was, I was thinking Paul Scholes. But... I think that's a Man United got... player, but I couldn't think of which one. Which, te- which team was the first British club to win the European Cup? Which is now known as the Champions League. South <laughs> Correct, Joe? Scottish. 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 He's good at this, is Joe. No, Joe's pissing <laughs> it now. Um, yeah, I'm going yeah, to You crack on. Ned, you're going to get a point at some point, mate. I'm not. There's my Ned, son. Ned, this, this has got you written all over it, this one. I'm gonna give, I'll give you a free pass this time. <laughs> oh, cocky shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do anything for a few pass. <laughs> <laughs> Ask the missus. Who had spells? Right now. Who had spells at managing QPR, Aston Villa, and Porto, and a term as assistant manager at Hull before leaving in 1971 to become manager oh. of Scotland, first on a temporary basis and then permanently? Come on, Ned. History Steen. question. Jock Steen. No. That's good, because that's what I was thinking. <laughs> Come on, guys, you got this. T- say it again, sorry. Okay. Longest question of the night, and you want me to repeat it? Absolutely. Maybe twice. Who had spells <laughs> at 
managing critically QPR. Europe. Sorry? Yoroth. Perry oh, Yoroth. <laughs> no. <laughs> so it's down to Woody and Joe. I'll continue the question. Managing QPR, Aston Villa, and Porto, and a term as assistant at Hull City before leaving in 1971 to become manager of Scotland. Scotland question, Joe. Yeah, come on, Joe. For my time, mate. I said the name I wanted to say. I've stumped him now. Do we have any ideas? Do we want a clue? (sighs) Give us his initials. TD. Tommy Doherty. Well done. Tommy Doherty. Yes. (laughs) Way before my time. I had to tell my dad about that one. (laughs) Thanks for the clue, Fife. You're very welcome. Anything to keep the quiz moving along? (laughs) It's proposed that the 2026 World Cup will be hosted across which three different countries? America, Canada, Mexico. Correct. That's wrong, actually. It's actually the United States of America. (laughs) Canada. (laughs) America is no such... There's no such place as America. America's a constant. (laughs) No, it's not. I'm sure you've already had. <laughs> <laughs> Again, that's not right. North, North, North America. North America. <laughs> <laughs> this is the late night edition, yeah. It is. Ben, what does it matter? The language and the tone remains the same no matter what. We could be recording at eight o'clock in the morning and you'd be telling each other to fuck off. That's, that's fucking true, to be fair. Oh, anyway. Um, unnecessary fact. <laughs> Which gifted midfielder... Gifted. Yeah, gifted is the critical part of this question, not the next bit. Won the, me, won the FA Cup twice and was a runner-up three times with three different clubs between 1984 and 1998. How's my super... Oh, that's going. No. Oh, good shout. Mm. I was just going gifted. Think about it, Ned. You got this, Ned. This is your question all day long, Ned. Come on. I can't remember what you said. 1984 <laughs> and 1998. Which, which gifted midfielder won the FA Cup twice and was a runner-up three times with three different clubs between 1984 and 1998? What? 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 Is he English? Can you give us a clue? What he, is he is English. He is English, right. We hadn't really had the invasion of, of foreign players by that time. No, not in 1984. Uh, so I will go... For those listening to the audio-only version, Ned is looking up to the sky. Woody is also looking up to the sky, but in the opposite direction. And Ben has said, I'm going to go four and then shut up completely. <sighs> you want a clue? Happy. Yes, please. Batty. No, I'm afraid not, Ned. I was thinking Batty, to be fair, Ned. I'm glad you said it. So it's between <laughs> Ben and Woody. Uh, in, he's scored a very famous goal for England at one point. John uh, Barnes. It was John Barnes, Ben. Oh, well done, Ben. I was going to say <laughs> Platt, but then I thought, no, he wasn't like Yeah, good. I've got my second point. <laughs> The scores as of now, Woody, uh, Ned is on um, zero, uh, but oh. looking very relaxed. He's just lulling them all <laughs> into a false sense of security. There's still enough questions <laughs> for you to win this, Ned. Um, ben is up to two. Woody's got a very respectable five. And uh, cocky and arrogant Joe is on eight. <laughs> Free pass, lads. Free pass. Free pass, Joe. Free pass, Joe. Yeah. Um, <laughs> By by January of last year, Schalke and which English side were the only sides in Europe's top five divisions yet to record a win in their domestic league? Remember when these were written. So we're not talking January just gone. This would have been previous January. Can you repeat the question again? Yes. As of January Mm. of last year, Mm. Schalke and which English side were the only European teams in their top divisions to have not recorded a win. Newcastle. 
No. Bournemouth. No. Fulham. No. What's your chance, Ben? Basically, it's the other team that got relegated. I can't oh, remember them. <laughs> no, <nor> can I? Because <laughs> um, I keep trying to say Norwich, but because it's always Norwich. Who's the other team that always gets well? West Brom. No. Sheffield United. No. <laughs> oh, of course. It's easy when you know it, isn't it, Woody? Yeah, easy when you know it. <laughs> right, Ned, you got this. Just be ready. <laughs> Who was the Blackburn Rovers manager when they won the Premier League title? Kenny Dalglish. Well done, Ben. Oh, I, was, nice. I was letting Ned get it. <laughs> <laughs> tight bastard. What a surprise. Ben, ben interrupts. Ned. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love you, Ned. <laughs> oh, flip's sake. How's your um, knowledge of Liverpool current Liverpool players' footballing histories, Ned? Terrible. Oh, uh, well, you'll what you'll love this question then. Oh, good. Which Austrian club have Sadio Mane and I can, can't pronounce his first name, Minamino, both played for? Austria. Rapid Vienna. <laughs> Right, uh, Woody, who did you say? I don't even know if they're Austrian, but I said Sturmkratz. No. Who did you say, Joe? I didn't say anybody. Okay, Ben? Ben said two say? teams. Rapid Vienna. No? Salzburg. Well done, Joe. I mean, for those who are playing Woody's game of if he doesn't get it right, there's a technicality. It's Red Bull Salzburg, but I'll give Salzburg. Yeah. It wasn't oh. always Red Bull Salzburg, though, was it? That's wrong, it was, to be fair. SP Might as well have said Ned, forget the score on this one. If you get this one right before Woody, then there's bragging rights more than anything. Okay. Where was the first FIFA Women's World Cup held, and who won it? America, America. 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 Um, no, you got one of them right, Ned. Oh, damn it. <laughs> what, was, what was the question, Fifey? Where was it held and who won it? Oh. I know when it was. UK and America? Sorry, Ben? UK and America? Nope. Germany? Uh, Was it early enough? Nope. I'm going to go Italy. No. It was hosted by China. And America won it. Never going to get that. Never going to get that. Um, In 2016... Which two footballers were nominated for the Ballon d'Or whilst playing for Leicester City? What year? The year they won the Premier League. 16. Uh, um, Mare. Mare. And Mare. Well done, Woody. Mahrez and Mahrez ah, is correct. You got there before I did. <laughs> I, couldn't, I was thinking of Kante. But... Oh, he should have. He should have been. It should have been. Yeah. Should have got it, right, Ned, this is yours. This <laughs> this is the start of the comeback. In what year, your lucky rich isn't here, did Chelsea win their first Premier League title? There are options. 2005, 2006, 2007, or 2008? 2005, 6. No. No. What did he say? 2005-6? Yeah, so he's tried to be he's tried to be uber uber clever there and it's cost him. So what so in essence, you're, ruling, you're ruling out 2006 there. Right, okay. 2007 then. No. I would say 2004. Well done, Joe. 2005. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and that takes you up to 10 points, Joe, already. Very, very well done to you, sir. In which season was the European Cup rebranded to the Champions League? 1996. No. Oh, I was going to say that. I think it was earlier than that, wasn't it? I wanted to say 93-4. No. Uh, You're a lot closer, though, Woody. 92. Uh, like when you say 92, you mean 91, 92? 92, 93. 92, 93 is correct. 
I was trying to, I was trying to ease Ned in there, but yeah, he's going to the wrong one. Ned's gone. <laughs> Ned's not even trying at this point. You can definitely get ahead of Ben. <laughs> just, don't, just don't finish bottom, Ned. Come on. <laughs> Oi. <laughs> Which Scotland international striker was Derby's top scorer for three successive seasons from the 13-14 season to the 15-16 season? Ross McCormack. No. Tommy Johnson. No. Can't think of his name. James. Just take a minute and really think about it, Ned. James. Oh, hang on. The one who used to play for us. What's his name? What's his name? M- Martin. I'll give you that. Yeah, Chris Martin no. is correct. Oh, yes. Well done, Ned. You're off the mark. Well course, done, Ned. Good win now. It's a great shout. He's in cold play, that bloke. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? That, that was going to be my clue if they sat there for too long. If what happens when you're a Scottish footballer, better off chasing another band. Mm. <laughs> um, okay. I'll attempt this. But don't blame me if I get it wrong. The oh, well. Henry, the Henry Delaney Trophy is a prize for which football tournament? Henry Delaney. Oh, sounds oh, like the God. Irish Premier League to me. It does sound like the Irish Premier League, but that's wrong, Joe. No, you said it wrong. I've seen this before. Isn't it the Henri Delaney, and it's the European Championship? Yes, that's yeah. right, Woody. Henry Delaney. Oh. I, have, I, I've, I had that question recently. I got done by the Irish pronunciation there. Huh? I think it's, isn't it Henri Delaunay or something? Henri Delaunay. Quite possibly. Yeah. See, I, oh, I read it as I'm Irish so, as opposed to I, like French. Rich would have got that one. <laughs> of course he would. What, what, because it's not Irish? Because he's <laughs> Irish, yeah. We, okay, you've definitely got this one, Ned. You just need to be quickest. Take yourself off mute. <laughs> <laughs> so put himself on mute. <laughs> <laughs> Which country... Despite the fact they did not qualify, Italy. No. Oh! Yes! Oh, he's gone. He's gone. He's gone. Ned's gone. One Euro ninety two. Denmark. Denmark. Well done, oh. John. I still would have said Italy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they did. They didn't qualify, and then they won it. Peter Schmeichel with the penalty save. Yeah, I remember. Didn't qualify. I'm more than happy to say Italy. Sorry, more than happy. Um, just to point out that Italy didn't qualify. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, okay. but that's the World Cup as opposed to the, uh, the Euros, isn't it? Okay, you've got this one, Ned. As well. <laughs> oh, God's sake! We only have a few questions left, Ned. You have to try and catch Ben. Okay. Tottenham offered okay. which? Sorry. I said okay. I like <laughs> offered you. which England defender? A contract that would have made him their highest paid player, but he rejected them and left for so Campbell. Well done, Ned. I knew that was. I, th- I thought Ned's going to know this one. And I thought, right, I'm going to leave it. So Campbell. And I knew it was going to be Sol Campbell as well. Oh, of course, everyone, everyone wants point. Ned to catch me, so I can't let him catch me. <laughs> <laughs> this is Ned's Ned, chance I'll to. I'll probably message you the next answer. This is Ned's chance to <laughs> shut you up for all the times you've interrupted him, Ben. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Just to clarify, there are five questions remaining. Right. Um, oh. And, uh, on, What's going on there? The important criteria with five questions to go is um, Joe is five points ahead of Woody. Woody, come on. Oh, cheers, Ben. Cheers, mate. <laughs> hey, everyone's Ed, Ned to win. <laughs> <laughs> Ned is one point behind yeah. Ben. Go on, Ned! <laughs> and the gap between Woody and Ben is four points, so no one's really interested in that. Um, so Woody I'm needs quiet. to get Be them quiet. all, but Ned needs to get at least one. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Ben's apologised. I'm not sure what he did. I woke the kids up. <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake, Ben. Ooh. You need to calm down. Stop getting so excited. Oh, I'm, I'm in trouble. I'm going to go get my phone now. As of the start of last year, who is the highest scoring Premier League striker never to win the league? Alan Shearer. Oh, Shearer. He won it. Blackburn. <laughs> Ben's out. 
Harry Kane? No. Oh. Well done, Joe. <laughs> Go on, Ned. You can have a guess first. <laughs> no, I no. You have a guess first. I'm I'm nice. Highest scoring striker to never win the Premier League. I would have thought it'd be Kane. Yeah, <laughs> I, that's how I immediately went to. But then again, if it's as of last year, he still had another shed load of goals to be added on, didn't oh, he? Oh yeah. Oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna say a name, but I think you mean Defoe? Sure it's gonna be wrong. No. Chris Sutton. <laughs> no, Robbie Fowler. Chris Sutton won it with Blackburn, didn't he? Oh yeah, yeah. Fowler. Yeah. Unbelievable shout. It's not a shout, it's true. I've wow. got the answer. <laughs> <laughs> Prior to taking charge of Liverpool, Jurgen Klopp managed Borussia Dortmund and which other German club? Was it Mainz? It was Mainz. That makes the scores seven to Woody, three to Ben, 13 to Joe, and two for Ned. Uh, oh no, sorry boys. Scottish which, football. which Scottish club <laughs> were runners up to Jose Mourinho's Porto in the 2003 UEFA Cup? Rangers. Incorrect. Celtic. Well done, Ben. Yeah, I'd be one of them too. <laughs> it's not really a Scottish question, is it? <laughs> and uh, that really ramps the pressure on Ned if he wants to get off the bottom. The best he can do is finish joint bottom now. Oh no. Maybe he likes a joint bottom. Germ- <laughs> no one's going for joint bottoms. Germany have won the World Cup four times. But how many times have they done so as a unified country? Once. Correct, Ben. <sighs> And that takes us to the final question, which I need the answer book for. Which doesn't matter because all the decision places are now decided. And to keep it interesting for everyone, I am offering... How many are you behind, Joe, Ned? Ned, Ned behind? I'm offering 12 <laughs> points for this question. Yes. So right, everyone, put everyone on mute. Put everyone on mute. <laughs> Brad, you're going to help out this one. Which former England midfielder scored 15 FA Cup goals and once scored twice in a final? English midfielder scored twice in a final, 15 FA Cup goals. Thanks, Ben. I don't need to repeat the question now. Hazard. <laughs> no, Ned. I'm afraid you're out. <sighs> right, Lampard. Yeah, no, that's Woody. I'm afraid you're oh. out. Oh, Stephen yeah. Gerrard. Congratulations, Ben. Oh, that was a joint effort. Come on. <laughs> That was neck and neck. <laughs> so, so, unbelievably, Ben's 12 points <laughs> takes him to 17. No, not only do you interrupt Ned, you take a victory off him too. How do I wake my son up? Hey, Fred. However, <laughs> that was a photo finish. However, given the fact that we know that Ben. What? Has behaved in a way not befitting a Fools Rushing's podcast. Oh, uh, no. waking up the children. Inappropriate conduct. Yeah, inappropriate. And mentioning Graham Ricks twice during yeah. the episode. I'm it's doing, bad as that. I'm doing a 10 point deduction for waking the children up. Oh, come on. <laughs> taking them back to seven points. And then three point deduction for each reference to Graham Ricks. That takes Ben to one point, which means the final scores are. Hang on, hang on. I've mentioned Graham Briggs once, so I'm on minus one. No, I didn't. Yes! I don't remember hearing you. On a pill. On a pill. On a pill. Ned, I don't I'm remember one, hearing you. You're missing the point here, Ned. I'm still playing that. <laughs> Ned, shut up. I didn't hear it. So that makes <laughs> the final points. Ben on one. Ned two. Uh, Woody on seven. Not having that. And Joe on 13. Congratulations, Joe. You keep your crown as the quiz champion. I am not having that. <laughs> I, I I am disgusted by that decision. I will appeal to a higher authority. Okay, well, Someone, given given that I'm the on unofficial me. ruler and appeal board of the Falls Russian, would you like to make your appeal now? And uh, you can even claim defamation if you like. Yeah, that's not fair. I've been victimised. 
Yeah, you've been victimised. Who've you been victimised by? Who've you been victimised by, Ben? I've been victimised by you. By me. Okay. Well, as the Court of Appeal, I will consider all the evidence. You feel you've been victimised by me. I and think discriminated my... against because <laughs> you've been I discriminated have... against. Yeah, because I'm me. A nice... <laughs> um, I have a nice so, beer. taking all the evidence into account. I'm going to stick with the original decision and you remain bottom on one point, but thanks for appealing. <laughs> um, listen, guys, as always, absolute pleasure. Hope everyone's enjoyed our, our little quiz. Um, just to hopefully get a slightly merrier mood ahead of the new week. Um, I hope you all enjoy the rest of your Jubilee Bank holiday weekend. We've got a load of summer content, loads more stupid games that we'll try and fix it. The Ben just can't win one way or another. Uh, <laughs> No matter how, we will desperately try and get Ned to win one. But we also have one or two uh, oh. serious, serious episodes we're going to be doing as well coming up very soon, as well as, of course, um, any news of actual importance and fact, most importantly, coming out of STSC. We will be throwing in pods left, right and centre to react to it. Um, but from me, Woody, Ben, Joe and Ned, thank you very much for watching and listening. As always, we very much appreciate it. Goodbye. <laughs>